Well, boy, howdy, isn't this just the greatest spread your eyes have ever seen? I'm so thankful that I get to eat my fill on this, the most American of holidays, Thanksgiving, with the greatest family a man could ever ask for. Now, Covingtons, I know it's been quite some time since our last family gathering, so I'll introduce everyone. My dear sister Susan, her wonderful children, Timothy, Bradford, Stephen, and Sarah Beth. My darling son, Clay, my brother Craig, and his son Jeremy, who's not yet arrived. And of course I cannot forget my dear, sweet daughter, Jenna. Now I'd also like to introduce someone very special to me that hasn't arrived yet, but will soon. I hope you all get along swimmingly. Now then, Covingtons, let's do our traditional passing around the dinner table and talking about what this year has made us just so darn thankful for. Susan, my dear sister, why don't you begin? Well, Stanley dear, I am just so thankful for our good old American ancestors who fought against those brutish savages and made this country what it is today. A country where I can be thankful for this beautiful feast in front of us, our beautiful iPhones, and of course, my beautiful boys, and Sarah Beth. I told you my name is Ebony now, mother. Yes, yes, dear. Oh, and I am so thankful for my late third husband. God rest his soul. And for the $3.2 million he left me in his will. Amen. <laughs> Just wonderful, Susie. And Clay, what about you, boy? What are you thankful for? Well, Popsy, if I had to say I was thankful for anything, it's for my wonderful boyfriend. Now, the love and warmth he gives me every night, multiple times a night, with various flavors. But just like Aunt Susan said, I'm just so thankful for all this feast in front of us. All these breads, stuffings, creams, meats. <laughs> oh, oh, that's wonderful, son. And you say it so beautifully. I'm so proud to have such a poet in the family. Bradford, my dear nephew, you seem very interested in what my son had to say. So tell me, boy. What are you thankful for? Oh, <laughs> yes, Uncle Stan. Uh, definitely, it's got to be, uh, you know, the food and family and the gifts. Eh. Bradford, my dear boy, whatever is the matter with you? You are whiter than a sheet right now. Are you all right? Are your bowels being irritable again? Uh, you know what? You know what, Mom? You're right. Old bowels acting up again. I'm gonna go and just uh, rest. You know what I'm saying? Get it all settled. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on him. Make sure nothing comes up. Good boy. Make sure your cousin's well taken care of. Now then, I suppose we'll move on to my dear Susie's second son, Stephen. Stephen, well tell me, what is- Hold on, hold on, hold on, sister. Oh, Uncle Craig's got something for your ass. Let me tell you what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for three things. Uno, my son is a little fairy. Don't shake the power. I'm thankful for my hair. It's more real than Posen's extensions. Tripoli. I'm thankful that my disability checks and will great state of Illinois keep my bottles full and my drinks happy. Get right. 
Damn, Uncle Craig, you turned as fuck. <laughs> listen, 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 everybody. Lil C about to bust that shit out. What am I thankful for? Four things. One, two, triplo, three. One, I'm thankful for the fact that I can drink cognac by myself without mixing it. Two, I'm thankful for my mixtape, Chips Out for Picante, coming out this Christmas. That's right, I don't put an X in my Christmas. I put an X in my rap music, like DMX. Three, I'm thankful for cucumbers. Those things are delicious. And four, I'm always thankful for them ladies. Cause they came in loving and strong. So, Darling, please stop talking like you are ghetto trash. We come from a long and classy line of European folk. You are a true American and you need to stop talking like one, Stephen. Bitch! I done told you once again. My name is Lil Steve. Lil Muffin Steve. Come on, my slave made one more game. I bust the captain. Yo, white ass. Yo, white ass. Yo white ass, yo extension wearing ass. I hate to break it to you, Steven, but you're white as well. Bitch, please, I don't even care. I'll bust the cap my own white ass. Pop, pop. I'm little Steve, motherfuckers. I don't give a hashtag fuck about that hashtag bullshit. Hashtag mixtape. Little Steve, out. <laughs> oh, it's so great to see children get passionate about their art. Now, Timothy, my youngest nephew, tell me, what are you thankful for, son? Why, thank you, Uncle Stan. Like my beautiful mother said before me, I, too, am grateful for all the soldiers who died heroically fighting the brown people. Jesus, Tim! I'm sorry, indigenous brown people, and what they made this country today a country where genocide works. A country where the white man will supersede all others. And I'm also thankful for all my beautiful brothers and sisters. Bitch. Kiss ass. And my darling, beautiful mother who never could find a man and never will. I guess I'll go now if anyone cares. I'm thankful for not having to live with my dumbass brothers anymore. Closet Queen, Thug Life, and Norman Bates. Sarah Beth, please, please do not call your brothers names. Act like a lady for once in your life. I honestly do not know how I birthed you. Gee, Susan, I don't know. You were probably so hopped up on cocaine you don't even remember being pregnant. Now listen here, young lady. Don't make me go out back and get a switch. Your father may not be alive to discipline you, but I am and I will. Now collect yourself and say what you are really thankful for. Fine. I am oh so grateful that my second stepdad left us a shit ton of money so my mom can once again blow it all on alcohol, drugs, and cheap hair extensions. Just like those brave soldiers fought and died for. Isn't that right, Mama? Oh, and I'm also very thankful for all this food in front of us that our Lord and Savior Satan has provided for us. Hey. Now, Sarah Beth Ann Covington, yeah. you... Uh. Oh my God! Uh. <laughs> what in tarnation is this thing doing in your home, Stanley? Oh, Susie, that... Thing is merely our neighborhood rascal, Homeless Bill. He's perfectly harmless. He's just hungry. Well, why on God's green earth would you let this thing into your house? Because, dear, he saves us hundreds a year on garbage disposal. Now eat up, Bill. Eat to your heart's content. I'm so sorry I'm late, you guys. Axel and I got stuck in traffic. It's totally okay you started without me. I told Daddy Stan to go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's quite alright, my little minx. Introductions, everyone. This is the new wonderful light of my life, Brandy. Stanny, you are too sweet. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandy with an I, and 
behind Stan's new leading lady. I am just so honored that he asked me to be with you guys here today, and I am looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. Axel has already told me so much about you guys, I feel like I'm practically already part of the family. Uh, question? Who the hell is Axel? Debbie me, guys. It's a stage name. Axel. Axel Grime. You know, it's like Vin Diesel, only it's less douchey. <laughs> oh, hey there, Charlie. Charlie. Good to see my spawn showed up. I told you, my name is Axel. Craig. Now, is that any way? To talk to your father, sport, the one who raised you, the one who fed you, the one who inserminated your mom? I don't know, Craig. I don't think I've ever met my father. Oh. Oh. And I don't think I'm going to start to death. Now that is what you call method acting. <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. That's what I'm most thankful for. That and your mind blowing friendship. Speaking of which, Axel, why were you and Brandy riding together? Well, it's actually such a funny story. We actually met back in California where we were shooting this condom commercial together and there was so much chemistry that we just became the best of friends. And that's how I met Daddy Stan. Isn't that right, Axel? <laughs> yeah, babe, that's exactly how it happened. Yeah, I figured you and Uncle Stan would be perfect together. You know, I know you like them. Big. Strong, rich, and in character, you know, just like Uncle Stan. And I think, man, like, a guy like that should marry a girl like you. <laughs> Got that right, old sport. I plan to put a ring on that finger very soon. Oh, you're such a sweetheart, my big gray stallion. <laughs> quiet down, kid. Quiet, you're quite the spanking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, Stanley Bud! Why don't you get that fetus off your lap and put a real woman in that hot seat? Who are you calling a fetus? I am 22 years old. Thank you very much. Girl, my kids are older than you. I have a yeast infection older than you. Now, Connie, darling, I thought the restraining order was quite clear about this. Ain't no piece of paper gonna keep me from what I'm most thankful for, my kids and my man. Woman, there is no force in heaven or earth that will ever make me your man again. I'm not talking about you, steady boy. I'm talking about that sexy hunk of man meat right there. The man meat she refers to is right here. Now get over here, you wild thing! Oh, baby, you make my heart sing! Oh. 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 You people are all fucking insane! You know what I'm thankful for? You really want to know? That door right there. Peace out, Crazingtons.